so today we're going to take a look at the debugger canvas. This is a cool new extension that allows you to visual, a visual way of debugging um, source code. So to have to make sure you've got it, you just pop into the extension manager, do a search for debugger canvas, it should come up, install it, restart Visual Studio and you'll be right to go. Alright, so I've got my accounts at a glance application running. It's a HTML5 uh, website written sample website written by a uh, Microsoft RD. Okay, so it's got the rich um, video using the canvas uh, media tags in HTML5. It's got nice drag and drop capabilities and you can see it sort of reflows itself. If I drag this quote module up there, you can see it hides the graph and only shows what's important. Okay, so we've got the get quotes module which we're going to be interested in looking at today. So if I get the quote for AAPL, which is Apple, and see it's down 65%. Okay, so let's close that off. Stop that. So let's pretend that there's a bug in that get quotes module. So what I'll do is I'll pop into the home controller. I'll set a breakpoint on get quotes. Okay, hit F5 to run it again. So instead of the standard debug experience, debugger canvas is going to take over the debugger and basically bubble up each method that you run into. So let's step into this piece of code, see what it does. All right, so the first thing it does, it will call get security. So let's just run that. Okay, so grabbing some values from the database, so we can hover over it. Okay, so we've got that. Okay, I can t examine the variables. Okay, let's just jump into this method. I want to see what get data points does. Okay. Right, here we go. All right, so get data points looks like a more mathematical method, so this is likely where our bug would be. So what I can also do is pop open this little locals window and just drag across so we can see everything. Okay, here we go. So we've got our locals window. So let's just step through. We can have that open and we can see some values changing. Okay, so low and the high just changed. All right. So let's just pretend that this is line of code that's uh, throwing an error. So what we can actually do is create a sticky note. Okay, so there is a bug in this line of code, the last variable should be 25 instead of 24.57 possible rounding issue. Okay, we don't want to fix this now, we just want to be able to log this bug. So we can then save Canvas as XPS attachment. So right click that opens up Outlook, creates an XPS attachment, which I'll open up and have a look at. Okay, so it's got our exact core stack with our nodes and with our variables at this point in time. So we'll just shoot that off to the developer bug get quote rounding error. Shoot that off for him to fix. And that's it. That's the power of the debugger canvas.